April 26th, Saints Cletus and Marcellinus, Popes and Martyrs. St. Cletus was the third bishop of Rome and succeeded St. Linus, which circumstance alone shows his eminent virtue among the first disciples of St. Peter in the West. He sat twelve years from the year 76 to 89. He is considered to have died as a martyr. Pope Marcellinus ruled the Church of Rome for nine years and four months. By order of Emperor Diocletian, he was taken prisoner and brought forward to offer sacrifice to the idols. At first he refused and was threatened with various kinds of torture, and for fear of the threatened suffering he put down two grains of incense in the sacrifice to the gods. This gave great joy to the infidels, but caused the faithful immense sadness. So the faithful came to the Pope and reproached him severely. He realized the gravity of his error and offered himself to be judged by a council of bishops. The bishops responded, It is not possible for the supreme pontiff to be judged by anyone, but you yourself weigh your case in your own mind and pronounce your own judgment. The Pope repented, lamented his fault, and deposed himself, but the whole gathering immediately re-elected him. When Diocletian heard of this, they had him arrested again. He absolutely refused a sacrifice to the altars, so they sentenced him to be beheaded. The persecution of the Christians was renewed with such a fury that in one month 17,000 were put to death. It is a fundamental truth and maximum of Christian morality that the cross or sufferings and mortification are the road to eternal bliss. They therefore who lead not here a crucified and mortified life are unworthy to ever possess the unspeakable joys of his kingdom. Our Lord himself, our model, and our head walked in this path, and his great apostle put us in mind that he entered into bliss only by his blood and by the cross.